Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at uh, an out-of-the-box Dynamics portal. This is uh, a community portal, so it gives you a range of sort of functions. You can also have a customer service portal as well, just to uh, give you the customer service details rather than all of the other pieces. Uh, but the community portal sort of gives you a really good overview of the sort of things you can do with a Dynamics portal. You'll see here that what we've got is we've just changed the image in the background so that it's a little bit relevant. Um, you'll see as I scroll down that we've got things like forums and ideas and blogs and, and a knowledge base area where you can also create cases or browse other solutions to problems. Um, you'll see it's using some sample data here and I'll show you the, the data as we sort of work our way through. Up at the top, I guess the main thing is sort of the, the menu structure across the top here gives us a bit of a rundown so that, for example, if I go to the blogs area, um, you'll have people that can create a blog. You'll see that we've got certain sort of blog posts over here. If I go over to Dynamics and into the portals area, you'll see that it's made up of a whole range of things. If I come down to uh, blogs here, when I click in, I'll see I've got my community blogs. And if I look at the posts, then I see here's the, the post for that blog. If I click onto this one, uh, which is the first one we'll see. We've got a bit of a summary and then the details of the post. Um, if I go back to my portal area, the web page, and click on all that blog post, I see there's that article sitting in there. So the articles can be maintained by the Dynamics users, as well as down the bottom, you'll see that we've got comments and we can sort of have the, the comments go back within Dynamics. There's a forum area, so a user forum. So again, as a, as a user, I log into the system uh, and that gives me certain permissions within the system. So that, for example, if I go into the discussion forum here, I can create a new thread um, and you'll see here that I've got a thread that's already defined and I can have sort of more information sitting around. I can go and attach replies to those threads as I, as I need to. Um, here's my reply and post it and then it sits that into the into the system again all of this data goes directly back into dynamics under ideas it's an area where you can have certain ideas within the system and allow people to vote on ideas so for example again i'll come into the up only voting and you'll see there's got seven up votes the other one's only got two you'll see that i've got seven votes left if I come along here and say I want to vote and give it three votes or two votes, now I've only got five votes left. The reason I couldn't click on three is because I'd already given it three and the most you can give any one thing here or defined is as five votes. Um, and then those votes can be polled within Dynamics again. The knowledge base, uh, it's a great place to have all of your knowledge articles. So for example, I can just have a quick search here. And if I say I want to search for a defect, then the system goes away, searches for all the knowledge base articles within my Dynamics application, customer engagement application, and brings up that document for me. Now that document again is sitting over here in Dynamics, um, but it'd be under the customer service area. If I look at customer service hub, and I look at my knowledge articles and you'll see there's my knowledge articles. And if I look at this one here, which is the damaged or defective products, and I'll see there's my article there. So again, referencing information from within my Dynamics database uh, directly within the web portal. From the knowledge base, again, I can also look by category. So if I want to look by support and then defects, again, I have that article that's linked against it. An extension to the knowledge base, so the self-help, is to be able to go in and see my customer service cases that as a customer I've logged with the organization. I can go and create new cases, but I can also come along here and see cases that I currently have active. And you can see it's a request and it's in progress. If I change this and say, actually, no, it's really a problem, uh, I'll mark it as a problem. I'll come down and say, update it. And you'll see it's now updated it. It's now tagged it as a problem. So back in our Dynamics customer service, we see it as a problem. But I can also add comments. So I can come along here and say, um, still 
no answer and I'll get rid of the typo I can also attach a file so if I've got say a screenshot I could attach that and when I submit it that now pushes that in as a as a, um, a comment a portal comment against the system and again we can have automation that kicks in that sends an email to the case owner to say hey there's a new comment You'll see here, I can also close the case and cancel the case. So if I close it, it just marks it as closed. If I cancel it, marks it as canceled. Um, again, I can see all of the cases, whether they're just mine or my company's, but basically cases that I'm attached to. And one last thing is the profile. So when I look at my profile, I see some details here. You'll see I can change my email. I haven't actually confirmed my email in this case. I just logged it in recently as this user. Um, but I can also go along and say, change my phone number to 39841. And when I update that, what I'll now see, if I go into my contact, you'll see it's not updated here at the moment. Uh, but as soon as I refresh this page, I'll see, ah, it doesn't help if I have the right form showing. Oh, there you go. Sorry, up the top here, it's now got my business phone number sitting there. Uh, so that's a, a bit of an overview just on the on the portal. Again, this is pretty much out of the box. All we've done is installed it and configured it. Uh, there's really been no customization around it. With customization, you can really, the sky is the limit. You can make this thing do whatever you want it to do. Thanks for listening and uh, hope to see you on some more videos soon.